Hello, people of the internet, Board Zach here, and welcome back to yet another YouTube video. And in today's video, I am doing an update on LEGO Ninjago City. So, um, I almost said an update on the LEGO Minecraft world, but that video is already out. Um, I'm going to be doing an update on the LEGO Ninjago City. So, um, looking at it now, you can probably already see that there are some changes. Um, almost all of the changes are in this area, which was that little add-on that had like three different versions. It's finally done. It's finally its final form. I've had it like this for a few weeks, and I know I like it like this. So, for the, as for this, it's kind of the same case as Minecraft World. Um, this is probably the last update until the gardens come out, which is going to be the big set that fills up that part of the world, or, or the city, where the um, bounty is currently sitting. Um, and then after that, I'm going to put some stuff in here, fill in the water, and this city will be looking good. So, there's a couple things I want to show today. Updated buildings, and I also may or may not have rigged a lighting system up to this bad boy. The buildings themselves don't light up, but there's some really cool stuff. So I'm gonna save the lights for the end because it is my favorite part. And I can't believe I haven't shown it yet since it's been installed for a couple weeks. But yeah, so I'm not gonna waste any time getting in here because there is quite a bit of new stuff I haven't shown off down here. So this bottom building here is basically completely restructured. I really didn't like how it looked with the advertisement and it looks so flat and lazy. And I was like, I want to make it more three-dimensional. I thought a good way to do that would be to do another building like that that sticks out. And there's also one like that in the docks. Um, so back in here, this wall got redone too. I think it looks way better now. I did all of that brick and um, olive green coloring to make it match with the set. Um, so you come on down from this stone walkway. Sorry, the light in here is not super good. There's not really any details up there, so you're not missing anything. Um, there's some news. There's a newspaper stand, which I think is really cool. If I can get one of them out. Oh, they're actually attached to each other. I forgot about that. But that newspaper stand is just up against the wall. Um, I think it's a good spot for coming down off of the bridge. And I do like how you can see the bounty through there. Um, we also have this lantern hanging down in here. There's a flower pot in that corner. And then up here at the top, there is a little, you can probably see the bottom of the plant. There's a little mango tree up there, but it's so hard to see that I don't think anybody is ever gonna know it's there. I just put it there because I know it's there and I like it. Um, as for the yellow building, the color scheme is the same with the sand and um, yellow and uh, nougat. Um, the windows are a little different. I don't remember if they looked like that last time. Uh, there's the red. I added more of these red plants. So it's been so long since I did an update video. I don't remember if I've shown this, but I did add some more of these red plants throughout the city with the flower petal. So there is one of them up here, one growing on that window, one in that corner. And then, um, yeah, so there's a lot of those around here now. It's the same plant growing up here. Um, I put this banner here, which is this red banner. I swapped that out with this one, which uh, was from up here, which got replaced with a Demon Bull King um, flag. I really don't remember how much of this I've shown. So um, bear with me if you've seen this before and I'm just repeating myself. I really don't know. Um, I also added this Sons of Garmadon flag here. Um, so yeah. Uh, coming up from this upper level, one of these has a flower pot with some flowers in it and a window. And then this other, um, window has one of the cherry blossom trees growing out of it, which is the same cherry blossom on the Ninjago City. Um, and I added that in here because I really wanted to tie the two. I wanted to like, this side has the red, if it focuses, this side has the red trees, I wanted this mock to ease into this because apparently the gardens is going to have some of the pink trees as well. So I wanted to put that down there. So that's growing out of the window. And then we have the little kitty door panel from the uh, Monkey Kid HQ, which a lot of those parts were harvested for this. I'm um, coming up to the official Ninjago City set. I did add this lamp post here to go with this one, just so there was some more of those spread around. Um, so coming up out of the second level, this building here up against this wall has no interior. This is just a facade. It's a city pizza building. You can kind of see through there. And also the tired of walking car ad, which I have infamously pronunciated several times. And then up on top of here is the monkey kid brickhead. He still has a spot in the city. He's a lot harder to spot, but I still, if it focuses, I still really like him being up there. 
Um, I thought about moving the puffer fish so you could see him better, but it doesn't really help at all. Um, I think I showed the demon bull king thing, but in case I didn't, I like I said, I moved that down here because it was in the way. And I put the demon bull king up there. And the idea is that the demon bull king gang and the sons of Garmadon are fighting each other. Um, I might have said all this before. I don't know. As for this blue building, I really wasn't happy. In the last video you saw, I forgot it had the pink building on top. I forget because it's been so long since I had it there, since I made these changes a while ago and just haven't got around to making a video. Um, yeah, the uh, pink building is gone. I really didn't like how it looked. It was too simplistic and clunky. So I got rid of that and I gave this building a roof again, a mo much more of a roof than the last version of it. Um, the last version had the little puny roof and then the Monkey King was on there. I added this striped bit here. This kind of goes along with the Prime Empire stickers. I don't remember if I've shown any of this. So, excuse me. So maybe I have, maybe I haven't. Um, nothing much has changed here. We have this roof, which now expands up to the top. It's flat up there. And then we have another cherry blossom tree. And there's a parrot sitting on top of it. And, um, yeah, so... This building fits in there much better now with the tall roof and expanded height. It's pretty much the same level as this whole custom street. And then I think it blends in really well with Ninjago City. I think when you look at it from this angle, that's where it looks best. So, um, yeah, that's really it for those changes. But there is one more thing to show. So for this one, I'm going to be turning off the lights in my room because it really looks a lot better when there's no lights on. So right now you can barely see it. I'm going to turn it on. I can even find the on button. Okay, it's having a little episode. Come on. Okay, so we have lights above the city now. Um, this is for a lot of different reasons. It adds a lot of atmosphere to it. So there is a light strip all the way around the city. And these lights do a lot for the city. So um, it's a lot harder to see in the camera but they bring out a lot of different colors. Like this one makes all the blues pop. I'm going to go through all of them. So we have the doomsday sky red, which just makes everything look dreadful. Um, green, which makes a lot of the black light elements pop, but there is a version that makes them pop even better. Blue, which I really love how blue, once again, it's kind of hard to see, but this black light stuff glows so much under here. It just looks amazing. It's, it's, I don't like how hard it is to see. Like it doesn't really look like it's glowing on camera, but I assure you all of this, all of these lanterns are glowing, which looks amazing. Um, which color is this? Orange sky, which is my favorite. We have a lighter green. This is uh, blue. I can't really see what color these are because of the blue. This makes the black light pop too. Um, that's actually my favorite, this one. Then we have another greenish blue. It's hard to see the color on the camera. It does look really good though. Purple. Not sure what this color is, kind of a fuchsia. So yeah, um, there is a lot of colors on here. You can really see how this one brings out a lot of the more unique colors in the city. So when you sit back and look at it, this has a much different atmosphere. The lower levels are really sitting in the shadows, but the upper levels have a lot of light on them. So I'm just gonna go to the white light now because that's pretty simple. You can bring the brightness up so you can see stuff better in there. Um, I think as a whole, the city looks better. I'm gonna turn these off. As a whole, the city looks better just in the daylight, but a lot of those lights add a lot of atmosphere to the city. So let me get the lights real quick. So yeah, um, I don't have too much more to show. Um, that's it for the city updates. Once again, it's gonna be a few months. So for the next few months, the Lego Mario content is gonna be taking over, which was the last video, because I have more mocks for that plan. And then the Minecraft world, We'll get an update and then this will get an update. This will probably get an update first because the gardens come out in early January. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's a whole lot to say. And this has been a pretty long video by my standards. So 
that's really it for this one. So I'll see you all in the next video and goodbye.